Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kazil Farms. In today's episode, we are going to be setting up the multi-block structure from Forestry. We're going to be testing whether the mystical agriculture system works with that, whether we can fertilize it, whether we can um, manipulate mystical, fertile, mystical agriculture without having to do it manually. That's our goal here. We know that worms work. Worms are very laggy. Uh, if we have to go back to worms, um, we, we can. I'll just have to set them up in another dimension. <laughs> I, I did set up the, the uh, I don't know if you guys have ever been to the uh, mining dimension. Uh, but if you type in uh, at sign aroma, A-R-O-M-A, -A, the name of the mod is Aroma Core or dimension, Aroma's Dimensional World or something like that. Anyway, um, this guy must have been born in 1997. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Anyway. So the idea is that it's a, it's a mining world, right? So that it's it's uh it's really easy to get there. You make a stone pickaxe, a flint and steel, um, a stick, some stone bricks here, and then you use that on uh, stone to make a portal frame, right? So you're just in a crafting recipe. Once you have enough of those portal frames, you go you set it up just like you would another. Um, another portal and um, I should have did this with you on camera but this isn't I mean this isn't difficult right so okay so you make enough of these to make a portal frame like this and here I'll just I'll just break it and then you grab your uh, dement your mining multi mining multi tool and I don't know is this break no it's not a, it's not a pickaxe uh, anyway so you right click on here and it opens up a portal just like you would for your uh, nether portal, right? So then you just go over here and you sneak. Hold down sneak and it puts you into this other world. Now let, let's go up to the surface since I did build this underground. Um, it's not normally where it would be. How far down underground are we? Oh, something's locking up. There we go. Still looking at stone. There's dirt. Okay, here's the world. Now, I don't believe, by default, this world never gets dark. There's not a nighttime. It stays noon 100% of the time. So if you want to live here, this is actually a pretty decent place to live. Uh, set up your mining world, come here and live, and it will never be nighttime. So you don't have to worry about mob spawning or anything like that. You can just go to the overworld if you want to experience that. Um, I would recommend setting up a, um, uh, what is this, a waypoint, so portal, and that way, you know, you can always find your way home. Uh, but this, this place is expansive, you know, it's just like the overworld, but it never gets dark. Now, one of the things about the mining world, I do believe, is that it has increased um, ore generation here. So if you're, if you're short on some ores or whatever, I'd run around in here and get get whatever you need because I, I believe this has a higher um, a higher spawn rate of, of ores. It's something I should have talked to you about way earlier on. I completely forgot all about it. Uh, but anyway, so also if you're working with like solar panels or anything like that, that's a great place to, to be in because it's always, always on. Uh, the sun is always on. <laughs> sun is always up and therefore you, you never run out of solar power. Uh, so that's that's really cool. Um, we will definitely be taking advantage of that in other series. I do plan on doing other series with you. I've got two in mind. Just a kind of an announcement here. One is uh, going to be a very technological. Um, everything is techy. So it's going to be like most other mod modded Minecraft series. Uh, most of them focus on on the on the mechanical machines and stuff to do things for them. But there's some very cool things that happens with those. It's a very, very long project, so we've got lots of episodes that we can do. And then the third one, or the second one, is a magical based. So we're going to collect all of our things through magical means. Uh, we're going to be using magic to mine. We're going to use magic to uh, make ourselves powerful and things like that. So in this one, we have, uh, we've got our... our um, Tinker's construct and all that that'll be in our technical mod. It will not be in our uh, magical mod 
So we have to find some interesting ways to do stuff with that. So different ways to play the game. It's kind of fun. I'm really, really enjoying this mod pack. This isn't going to end anytime soon, just for the for future reference there. So anyway, the mining dimension. If um, <clears throat> if I need to set up the mystical agriculture with worms, I'm going to do that in the mining dimension. Set a chunk loader down. Set an um, um, a a way of just collecting all of those resources remotely. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about chunks being being irritating so okay let's get started with today's episode i haven't done anything between the last episode and this one uh there's not going to be a, a no overview section or whatever what i did last time section uh, so let's just get right into it i'm going to type in farm here we've got all of our blocks uh, automatable right um we're going to need to make several of these i don't remember uh i think these are for so there's our multi-block size right there, 3 by 4 by 3 or a 5 by 4 by 5. And then there's the top section of it. Um, I forget, does forestry have a book? I think it does. Yes, it does. I remember because I thought it was amazing that it had a book because it hasn't had one historically. All right, let's come into the book here, and we're going to take a look at the farming, right? Okay, so the farming structure is what we're going to be setting up here. And the farm block is the main structural block of the farm. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, we got that. Um, where is, oh, here we go. Farm valve, uh, so here we go. Some farms require water for hydration purposes, although you can do it manually by supplying it through liquid containers, such as cans. You can also automate the process uh, by using farm valves, which we will do for sure, by connecting a Buildcraft waterproof pipe. Uh, see, that's old school, that's old. We're, we're not going to be doing that, uh, forestry. Anyway, okay, so <laughs> gearbox, the power from your farm, uh, to power your farm, you have you have it automatically harvest crops. You will need at least one farm gearbox. Farm operations can be um, hasted, hasted? Uh, with additional gearboxes. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Interesting. I did not know that. Okay, redstone flux energy... Uh, each farm gearbox requires redstone flux energy in order to work. You can supply them using blah 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 speed farm. Each gearbox basically tells the farm to run one one work unit. So multiple gearboxes tell the farm to do more work more often. Okay, to work more often. Okay, so we're probably going to have several of those. We'll play around with that for sure. Okay, the hatch. You can supply and extract items from the farm or to the farm by using farm hatches that are connected to automation systems. <laughs> pipes are really cool. I will be using pipes in our uh, technological world for sure. Uh, you can control which fields your farm works on by supplying redstone signals to control blocks. Uh, you can either shut down the whole farm by applying a redstone signal from top or below or you can disable a specific side by applying a redstone signal on the machine side of the control block. Okay. Okay, now the multi-farms here, I think this will tell me how to set it up. Multi-block, uh, and I've done this man, years and years ago. Uh, multi-farms are multi-block structures that are built using special farm blocks and building blocks, which we've, uh, which we've talked about. Okay, the size of the farm can be modified in in your config by changing the size variable. Uh, by default, this is set up to two. Hmm. Two times width of central, oh, wow. This is not very, this is not written like very to the layman. Okay, by, def by default, the smallest farm size is 15 by 15, while the largest size is 25 by 25. Um, is it gonna show me a picture? Farm configuration. Nope. Farm layouts. Here we go. Okay. So here's our here's our three by three. And where all of these other blocks are, these are the range of where the farm operates. And I'll explain that as we go. Okay, so let's make the let's make a farm uh, valve. We're gonna need at least one of those. Okay. And then we're going to need two I'm gonna say two farm hatches because we're gonna want to supply the farm with something, uh, namely the seeds and or bone meal, and we're going to want to 
uh, harvest the resources naturally from the farm. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is gearbox. Let's make, uh, f I don't know, four of those. Missing some copper. That is easily remedied. We have lots of copper blocks. Okay. Farm. So let's make four of these. And then the farm control. I'll just make one of these for now. Okay. And I don't believe we need any more farm blocks. Oh, we do actually need more farm blocks, but I'm not sure how many we need. So let's see. And I can't remember if it's a hollow structure or a solid structure. So I don't know. Let's just make 30. Missing wood slabs. Uh, is there any more? Any more iron been smelted? Yeah, a little bit. And I desperately need to eat. Okay, we can do that later. <laughs> uh, pattern. Let's make 10 of these. Oh, I have one extra. Okay, so uh, what do I want to do here? Uh, plank. And I want the oak plank. And this is going to be our recipe there. For those, apparently I've never taught it how to make that. Man, I'm filling these up so so fast. Okay, so let's do a farm block, and we're gonna make 30 of these. There we go. Now I thought I told it to make four gearboxes. Did I not? I did. So what is it doing? Hmm. crafting farm these farm blocks so it's probably working on stuff over here and we've probably cooled these down a little bit no oh so this this importer is not importing I wonder if it has to be down at the bottom let's try that cable uh, how do I get to the other side I want to get to the other side Mm hmm can't go that way oh I can go here okay so let's reconnect that and let's go down underneath here and see if we can import I just want you to import the tin electron tubes nope Okay. That's not good. All right. Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, so the back is not a not a side that it can pull from. Hmm. There we go. That works. And apparently we can just leave it blank. That's great. Okay, so let's try. Let's move to the other side of here. Let's move this. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure I need to give those power again. Nope. Okay, good. Okay. That works. Great. <laughs> now these should be made. Right? Let me put these electron tubes back into the system. Everything should be done. Processing. Making another farm block. Uh, let's just cancel that. Okay. Let's make. Let's eat some food because I am severely hungry here. Let's see what can we make. Uh, I've eaten that recently. These are my favorite things to eat right here because I just they make give us so much. Chicken dinner. I like it. Um, chicken chow mein, Chinese chicken, <laughs> that was a good song, I know it's not chicken chow mein, uh, alright, so, what else can we do, we need a lot of food, mashed potatoes, I do like mashed potatoes, 
And do I like, do I do like chicken sandwiches. Man, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving um, a couple days ago. I did. We had, um, we had mashed potatoes. We had, Tom, my wife made a, a sweet potato, like ratatouille, but it was not ratatouille. It was made with like a, I call it ratatouille because it was slices. It was like all gratin potatoes, but it was uh, sweet potatoes in those slices, the big slices. And then she put in like a, like a maple, um, cinnamon glaze and then baked them and then on top of that she put on pecans but they were like a cayenne pecan oh my goodness <laughs> like it makes me want to go eat some right now it was so good all right there's our farm blocks and there's the gearboxes okay let's head outside and set one of these up we are going to need a power supply okay so they are a three by three block I believe it's solid all the way through. We'll put our valve on the back, put our gearboxes on either side. Maybe it is hollow. And then we'll put these around. Did I not make a controller? All right, uh, let's see, farm. I thought I made a, I did a control. Okay, now let's grab the power cell we're gonna need and we'll just do we'll just set up uh, set this up manually here there's a control and then let's do top like this and I believe that's our multi-block structure so as soon as I no, maybe it does have to be filled up in the middle uh, take the valve this Control. Oh, three by four, right? Of course. Uh, let's pull this out of the middle then, just because I'm I'm not sure if it needs to be hollow or not. We'll find out. And then it goes up one more. Man, that. <laughs> it mines it so fast. Okay, I gotta be more. I gotta be more careful. This is just, this is just crazy. The multi block is too small. Three by four by three. It is three by four by three, yo. All right, let's put the middle in. Seriously, this thing mines so fast. I'm just clicking once. I swear. There we go. Okay, once it so it's solid all the way through. Once this band shows up, we know that it works. Okay, now that don't worry about these. These are do these, these are just the uh, uh, places to put whatever you need. Okay, so now we grab some dirt. Actually, let's give it some power. Okay, that should give it some power. And let's grab some dirt and grab our our book here. So I was pretty close to about 30. I, I was pretty close about that. All right, let's see. Uh, dirt. And now the setup here is once we have the three by th uh, three by four by three, right? So we're gonna look two dimensionally here with the, the three by three. Um, you're gonna go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is this is the biggest you can make it. No matter what size you make it, it will work at that size okay so what I what I normally do is I make it the size that I want and um, actually I just use the, the whole thing so one one two three four five six seven come over three and then we'll just kind of angle over until we meet this one I think it's I think it's I think it's down like this it could be up one could be down one. It might actually be right there. We're about to find out. All right. So, I believe the the farming structure. Once we give it something to farm to plant. So we'll just use seeds for now. And I don't know if we're gonna need to give it water.
it's another thing that we haven't uh, <laughs> we haven't done much of is um, wheat farming. Just sneezed. Okay, so we'll put our seeds um, here. Or do I need to format it? Oh man. All right. Let's look at, it's been so long since I've done this, which is why I didn't do this in the last episode because it would have been a ridiculously long episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm wondering if it's these circuit boards. I don't remember. I don't know why I can't put, oh, maybe I just put seeds up here. Nope. How do I turn this farm into a... Maybe it's because this is up too high. Let's try that. Actually, we could just do... We could just do this for now. And it should work. Nope. Okay. I have to turn this into no fertilizer. Farms require fertilizer for to function. Now I did grab a bunch of forestry fertilizer. The the thing that I'm wondering is, um, or did I not? I must not have. Now where did I find that? Because there's like a ridiculous amount of it. When it when it spawns, you know because it's so much of it. I thought I saw it like over here somewhere. I should have just picked it up. Is it down here? Here's some more iron. Let's grab that while we're here. It's called, um, hmm. It's called, it's not called fertilizer. It's called something else. Or maybe it was, now that I'm thinking. Sorry, I'm just seeing all this iron. I want to grab it. Maybe it's over here. It's called appetite. Is what it spawns in the world as. I could have swore I saw it on like a, hmm. Okay, so I'm looking at the book here. I'm trying to figure out how to configure this thing to be a crop. So there's a bunch of different kinds of farms. Uh, the default is the Arboretum, uh, which means it can grow saplings. Um, crop here uh, is what we want. So we want a bronze electron tube. And it is going to need water, fertilizer, and some, some seeds here. So let's grab a bronze... Shoot. <laughs> uh, oh, I can make, uh, let's see. Let's just make a few of those, yeah. Cool. And then let's grab some redstone. And let's go hijack one of these. Uh, it's tin. There we go. And we're just gonna make a bronze electron tube real quick. We'll take this out, left clicking here to take that out. Okay, and we'll stick that in there. It makes us a bronze electron tube. That gets sucked in, and I'm gonna make this back into our tin electron tube. Okay, so according to the book here, if I put a bronze electron tube into the um, modifying slot, hey, I'll show you what I mean. right here. Nope. Hmm. Let's look, let's read the book again. <laughs> All right. So farm configuration, farm GUI. Um, circuit board socket. That's three. But, oh, do I need to make this into a... Hmm. Circuit board, intricate circuit board, crop farm, uh, bronze electron tube. That's what this is. Empty socket. It will not go in there. Huh. Hmm. If I remember right, there was something called a solder, soldering iron. Okay. I have to make it in a carpenter. Man, this mod. I'll tell you what. 
does not let me do anything fast. It's okay. We have a carpenter. And we have water. And what else do we need? Basic circuit board. No, that's not really what I want. I want the solder, I think. Iron and bronze, three iron. Do I have three iron? I do. And one bronze. Okay. I'll set this next to our power. Next to the power. There we go. <laughs> so put that there. And these there. Put some water in here. Work. Okay, cool. Solders electron tubes to circuit boards. That's right. Okay, cool. We'll take that out of there. Pick that up. Now, if I right click with this and put this in here, um, farm. Uh, oh, do I need to do this for each? Okay, so let's grab the other bronze. That's why it makes four. Okay. Manual, I don't want manual crop farm. I want an automatic crop farm. And then do I need to, like a basic circuit board here or something? Um, this is not, I don't want manual. Uh, automatic farm, there we go, managed crop farm. And then I probably need one of these basic circuit boards, which need to be made in a carpenter. Okay, so we need redstone and tin. And then six redstone. I'll put this back down. You're probably like, I'm so all over the place, you're probably not following me. <laughs> and then do I need water or something? I do need water. Of course. We can't make anything without water. It reminds me I should probably fill up my buckets here. Cool, that's being made. And we can take this down, I think. <laughs> All right, now let's open up our solder again. We have our tubes in there. We want the automatic farm. So it's managed crop farm. Stick this in here and hit go. Mm hmm. No layouts found. No no layouts available due to the current game settings. Where'd the fourth one go? Hmm. That was a glitch. Just ate my just ate my tube. Oh. Okay. Yeah, oh, that worked. Oh, okay. <laughs> Weird. It ate it, but it worked. Hopefully it's like all four directions. It wasn't. That's irritating. Come out of there. Well, whatever. I can mess with that later. Where did our seeds go? I'm going to grab some, grab both seed, both the iron and the uh, basic seeds see if this works. Uh, we're also going to need fertilizer, so let's grab some of this. Uh, I could not find any appetite. Bone meal, I don't know where it is, and it's it's like kind of rare, but when you find it, there's thousands of it. Um, so when you do find it, it's, it's good. Um, remove with soldering iron. Okay. Weird. 
automatic farm and, and that was on the what side is that west okay let's put that there and then we'll put that there nope yep okay that's good and then we'll put that there hey there we go now when I put this in here, does it, <laughs> it only does one. That's so annoying. Okay, let's go make another one. I don't know why it doesn't let me do all four at one time. That was really bizarre. Okay, bronze. Tin, just need one of you and let's grab some redstone. Now let's go grab that bronze that got out of our out of our uh, out of our grasp. So for some reason, this is only letting me do one side at a time. So if I go back into my soldering iron and I go to auto farm, I want all four of these to be managed scrap all four directions. And it will not do it. Why not? Hmm. <clears throat> this okay circuit board. This area is configured. This it has a socket in the center where you can place or remove a circuit board in order to place electron tubes that will alter the farm's behavior. Yeah. How do I use those? Mm -hmm. Layouts. These are the different kinds of layouts you can set up. Um, okay. The internet was no help. So I went back to uh, the soldering iron here and found out that when I place this in here, um, it says layout mismatch, which I was like, okay, what? Why are there four different boards here? So then I started hovering over this, and it says fits one electron tube, fits two electron tubes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we need to make this intricate board. This other one can go in the trash, because who wants to use just one board, one circuit? Okay, so in order to make the intricate circuit board, it's going to be three gold, uh, six redstone, and of course a bucket of water. Can't forget the bucket of water. There we go. That should make our intricate circuit. And now we can place all four of our electron tubes into that. As soon as it's done being crafted here. Slow. And we should be able to move on with our lives. <laughs> Alright, now take the soldering iron. We go on to go to automatic farm. Put place that last. And we want to put managed crop in each of those. And now we have managed crop in each four different directions. You can tell how long it's been since I've used forestry. It's been literally years. Okay, so we're going to place this in here. And we're going to be able to put in crops, right? So we put these in here. And we'll have to add water, of course. So let's go grab some water. And then fertilizer. I did grab some of these other, fertile, other kinds of fertilizer uh, to see what... Uh, let's just grab, let's just make an infinite pool next to it. And we'll stick it right here uh, in the back here where, our, where our, our hydration station is. Oh. Okay. So this can be automatically piped in. Um, but for now... We're going to, oh, this won't reach out here, will it? Grab a lever, 
see if we can turn it on because right now it looks like it's off like it's not planting anything it's not doing anything mm-hmm mm-hmm Oh, fertilizer, right, of course. So I put fertilizer in here. Nope. Can't put bone meal in here. It's got to be appetite. Well, that's going to be a problem for our use of mystical agriculture, isn't it? Well, that just kind of debunks that whole episode. Great. I'm glad I put all this time into <laughs> Glad I put all this time into it. Um, the next question then is, does appetite work on mystical agriculture? I'm going to say no. Uh, just from knowing um, that several other kinds of bone meal doesn't work. I guess in the meantime, I'll try and spend some time looking for this appetite, and I can at least show you how this farm block works. Uh, I thought most of the time it was on the surface or pretty close to the surface. I know that the, the one that I found was was fairly close. Ah, here it is. This is appetite ore, and there should be a a lot of it usually <laughs> usually there's a lot of it like tons mm. mm hmm just take a quick peek quick peek a quick peek around here and see if we can find more no well okay so let's go let's see what we can do with this and at least you'll be able to see how this stuff works. All right. Well, that's that stinks. I thought there was a lot, a lot more there. Usually, there's like I don't know, twenty or thirty something of these ores. Let's put this down. And I think if you break it with uh, fortune, you can get. Two, uh, looks like up to two. I guaranteed two with the crusher. So let's go do that. And I think it's appetite that, that it uses. We can grow appetite from um, mystical agriculture, it looks like. Appetite essence. So that's nice. So that makes me wonder then, does this work on mystical agriculture crops? That would be amazing. That would be amazing. All right, let's grab what we have here, appetite and see how this works. So we'll place, I just want to place down like nine seeds. And so that's not going in there. Uh-huh. Why isn't that going in there? What kind of fertilizer do you need? Has it got to be this fertilizer? Because that's just from bees. And that's not cool. Rich fertilizer can be used as bone meal on crops required in order to run a forestry farm. You're kidding me, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got to turn it into... I was like, I'm not running all those bees just to run a stupid farm. Okay, so let's grab some sand. Put our appetite in there. And here's our fertilizer. A whole stack of it. That's great. That makes a lot. Cool. Okay, so let's stick this in here, and is it operating? We have some fertilizer, but it's not planting, so let's move the dirt up, up to here. Will it work? Hmm. All right, let's place this over here. Let's see if that will work. We want to get it planting, not grass. Oh no! Oops! I just went to full. full <laughs> I just went to full screen mode. Uh, all right. Hopefully, we're still recording. Here, let's just get out of full screen mode. Pull up our videos. Sorry if I'm doing this with you. Looks like we're still recording. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> what was I grabbing? Dirt. Dirt is what I wanted. So let's move this here. 
And then we'll try up one. I don't know why it's not planting anywhere. Do I have to till these? Is that what has to happen here? Do I have to come in here with a, with a hoe and actually till this? So far, I don't know if you can tell, so far I'm not impressed. Okay, so already this is this is uh, decaying. This is not, so it tells me that's the correct level. <clears throat> this oh yeah, there it goes. All right. Why are you not working? I wonder if this book tells me what level to put the book on. Okay, lay a farming layout uh, small. Nope, it doesn't tell me in there. Uh, multi farms should tell me where to put the dirt. Okay, we got water in there. Uh, we've got a water tank has water in it circuit board has our circuit fertilizer slot soil inventory oh okay so it places it itself okay let's put the soil in there and then now do we turn it on are you gonna place all that for us automatically nope Uh, germlings inventory. Oh, that's the output, and then the oh, germlings would be the seeds, right? Okay, so place water buckets, cans, capsules here to fill the tank. Um, this shows how much water. Yep, this area shows the current configuration of the multi farm. It's fertilizer. Most farm configurations will need fertilizer. Yep. Soil inventory, this is where you place your necessary soil for the farm to either lay down the farmland if it's a managed or replace the decaying soil blocks. This is where you place the germlings, saplings, seeds, cactus, etc. Hmm. Nope. Okay, so we've got everything that it wants. It's just not working. Okay, what does it say here? No farmland. Well, yes, of course. Uh, let's put this here. Now what does it say? No farmland. Smooth sandstone, bricks, or stone created platform oh oh okay I'm gonna put those go there so let's uh can I make those that makes gives me eight now smooth sandstone bricks stone bricks create a platform on let's try up one more I mean, do I have to, like, <laughs> certainly I don't have to fill up the whole area. Like, it should work wherever. Okay, brick. I'm, I, I hope you guys enjoy learning this with me because it's kind of fun. But I can see how this would be frustrating if you're trying to figure, if, you're, if you came here for answers, I apologize. Hopefully, you've, hopefully we find them together. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's working now. Okay, great. So it did place down a water slot. Um, interesting. Okay, now, if I were to take these seeds out, 
and pick up these seeds. Okay. And put iron seeds in here. Would that work? Is it going to plant those? Yes, it does. Okay, so that does work. Now the fertilizer uh, coming into here. Uh, it does say that if I had more of these gearboxes, it would work faster, right? So now what I would like to do is grab some uh, grab a controller grab a uh, four connectors let's do five or six rather and put some of this back that we don't need Um, actually, let's grab those back. Stone, brick, and grab some more seed. Uh, I did grab all the iron seed too, didn't I? Okay, cool. So we'll take this down for now, and we'll place connectors all over the place here. Okay, and then we'll run cable, which I didn't grab any, of course. Why would I need cable? <laughs> and then we'll wrap this around. Um, like that, sure. Okay, then we'll place the power cell here. We'll place our controller here, I guess. And we'll grab a chest later, but okay. So for the power, we're going to extract, and we're going to insert into all of these. Um, oh, farm block. It does not tell me what it is. Okay, so this is going to be the um, power. Um, we'll just do I/O for input output, and we'll do power. Same thing on the other side. I O power. Okay, cool. Now I should be able to determine power in here. Okay. That's I O, that's I O power. Cool. And that should be putting that should be speeding up quite a lot, right? So let's place some more of these. I'm just gonna let this run overnight and see um, see how how well this does. Okay, we can go out as far as seven. So three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. We're gonna make our bees angry. <laughs> we haven't done anything with bees in a while. All right, now that should be placing those out. As long as it has enough um, dirt in there. Brick. Let's make. Let's make another couple stacks of this. This is another long episode. I hope you guys don't mind. I know I know you don't mind, uh, but <clears throat> anyway, we've got this up and running mostly, and now now the question is um, whether this will help speed up the crops or not. And this is what the this is what the uh, forestry farming block looks like when it's fully functional. We'll just have to make sure for some reason it's not putting down water here. 
I don't know why. Well, maybe because it doesn't need to. It only puts it where it makes sense to have it. Okay, let's go grab some more. We'll probably have to make some more. This has taken several stacks. And I realized it was worth that, that many brick. Okay. And one last one. Not there. I, I set this up uh, back in the day when I first started playing with modded Minecraft. I set one of these up and I was so thrilled because I got it to work. And, uh, man, that was, that was years and years ago. Okay, why aren't you working? Oh, you're out of water. Slow buckets. Definitely will want to automate this. Water. Actually, let's just grab the empty buckets that we have. What I'd like to do is I'd like to find a way to um, automate the using of buckets. And now that we have the clicker mod, um, I think we can do that, right? So um, I know that I could manage this with uh, with uh, Xnet, but um, when when I think about using like the lava eggs, right? That's the thing I want to automate. I want to be able to automate those, putting those into some sort of storage system, and then um, using a system to bring those out and put them into our smeltery, for example. I know of a way to do it, but we don't have the mods. And I don't really want to add more mods. Okay, it looks like we need more dirt. But there's all of our seeds. All of our seeds are are plant planted. Why did you guys? Probably probably because of the water issue. So let's go grab some more dirt. Yeah, it's gonna be placing another water bucket like over here or something. That's that's crazy. All of those uh, <laughs> all those seeds just sitting everywhere. Let's grab a bunch more dirt. It doesn't really matter where the uh, where the seeds are placed because those will duplicate themselves. Okay, let's just keep putting water in here for now. This is going to be a thirsty system. Look at this. I cannot keep water in here. But to be fair, it's still setting itself up. So hopefully once it sets itself up, it won't go through water too quickly. But maybe the water is part of the, the process that speeds it up. So if I could... See, right now we're only getting iron seeds as an output. And I don't know if that's just because they're being picked up or, um, or what what is happening like if the, the water's getting or the uh, soils getting dry and so it's um, uprooting itself like over here you know this this might be until it drop put drop this last piece of water here okay now we'll, I'm just gonna let this like I said I'm gonna let this run overnight and hopefully um, hopefully this system is smart enough to grow it quickly. Is that one stack of appetites lasting quite a while, which is which is encouraging. I don't know if it's actually increasing the growth speed or not. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, whether we use these farming blocks or not is yet to be seen. They are cool, um, and we could set it up to where um, only like iron goes here, redstone goes here, gold, and then uh, diamond or something. We could use one of these blocks to farm four different kinds of crops. I didn't actually think about that. Let's grab one of these. Now, can I put this here? How do I tell it to do only one thing? Hmm. I'll do some research on that and get back to you. Uh, but anyway, you guys take care. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.